women in men's sport, uh, sports. And men dom dominate. Yeah, he's. There's too much pressure on me. Trades, <laughs> trades, trades. Everybody, it is future Kira. Come on here to just make a quick intro because I never intro this video. But basically, today's video is a bookstore extravaganza. So I did this actually a couple weeks ago with one of my besties. We went to five different bookstores. Some of them new, some of them we've already been to before. I did some little clips, as you'll see, and then we do a big, huge haul. Basically, it's just her books because she is. A newer big reader. Stay tuned to the end for a, a huge haul. This video is probably be very long. I'm going to put the name of the bookstore and probably location. So if you guys I don't know live in the Massachusetts area and really like the way that these ones look, then you guys know where to go. If you guys enjoy, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos by me. Follow my socials. They'll be down below along with everything else. It's just get right into the extravaganza because it truly was like an all-day experience. Just too cool, I won't be a fool oh, 
Nice. Hey besties. Wait. <laughs> We're back with a haul of um, four books and probably 40. Yeah. <laughs> So we're probably just gonna do mine first because um, I have four wonderful books here. First one, I've been seeing this everywhere. Forget Me Not by Julie Soto. All I know is that they're exes and one's a wedding planner and one, the ex, this guy is a florist or something. I heard it was good. So what am I gonna do? I'm gonna buy it. And it was on the buy one, get one, 50% off you. Yeah. And then the other romance that I got was Shipwrecked and I think someone wrote that if you liked It Happened One Summer by Tessa Bailey that this gives the same exact vibes and that was a five star book for me so you had me there and it kind of gives like winter. You know what I mean? It's like you. I know nothing. I didn't even read the back. I was like it happened one summer gotta buy it. And then the other buy one get one paper sent off was a fantasy which I was gonna buy this last time, but I actually don't even remember what it's about. It's on my Amazon wish list, and it was buying 150. So, um, one of five. Oh, good God, there's five books in this series. Hmm. And then, lastly, my last fantasy book, which I just bought at a different Barnes, was The Graceling. You know, it kind of sounded like she was an assassin, and I love reading books about assassins. I don't know. I like this cover too. It's green. I like green. It's really pretty. Who knows? We'll find out. I don't know, I've heard also good things about this, so it's all I bought. <laughs> now for the very lengthy. Pretty sure I bought 31 books, if I counted correctly. Love in Other Words by Christina Warren. I'm gonna I'm explain them. Um, I don't know what all of them are about, but yeah. we're just gonna explain it. I read this book. I'm sure a lot of people have read this book, but it's about Macy and Elliot. They were childhood best friends. Something happened. Did you figure out that throughout the book. It's past and present timeline, if I am not mistaken. Yes, it's yeah. past and present. It's just so beautifully written, and it's just a classic. It's a classic. She got many Christina Lauren books, oh, yeah. as you guys will see. <laughs> this was on my TBR list. Yes, on the Goodreads. wedding date. Yeah, yeah. That cover's that cool. I can't really remember why it's on there. It looks not historical, but like it's like a cover that I honestly probably would pick up often. But I did read the back. I forget because there's 31 books. So I <laughs> Got Yours Truly by Abby Jimenez. Yes. Well, there you go. You got it. Um, as you guys know, I talked about it in my autobi authors. I'm like Abby Jimenez's like biggest fan. Probably not, but um, yeah. So these are her newer books. Yours Truly. I'm sure everybody has heard about this and everybody loves it. Um, I have yet to read it, but I was like, you gotta buy it. All I know is that it's about two doctors and they start sending like letters to each other like anonymously like they don't they never talk in person but they start sending letters back to each other and apparently the social anxiety rep for word and his name's jacob right or did i just make that up i think i just made that up did i seriously make that up or am i like mm, i don't know why i just called him jacob it is jacob i'm somewhere in this brain and here we are yeah with one of many you will see we have book lovers by emily henry and She's talked good about it, and I was just like, sure. Yeah, yes. this is my favorite Emily Henry book. Every time I try to explain it, I'm like, I can't really remember, because you know, I've read so many books. But um, Nora, Charlie, they're not like academic rivals, but I love Emily Henry. I've yet to read Happy Place though, but that's not in paperback, so. I'm waiting for the paperback. Yeah, love this, read it. Next we've got The Sweet Spot by Trish Dollar. I've never heard of that um, before. It looked cute. I'm a very, uh, I'm going to judge you by the cover, mm. but that's me as well. All I did was read the back and I saw single mom and it's a romance. And I'm just like, I fall for those single parents. I love a single parent. Like that's my ship. I do not know how to pronounce this author, but the kiss quotient. I think it's Helena Hong, Helena Hong, something like that. This is an OG book talk book that Everybody's probably read, but she's at the beginning of her intense reading journey. Stella, and I swear his name is not Josh, it's Michael. Uh, don't know where I came up with Josh. <laughs> she needs help with something, and I think he needs a fake dating person to bring around his family, and that's all I know. Or remember, at least before, and I'm too lazy to read all that. So yeah, I'm sure people know about the quick quotient, but yes, classic book talk book. And I do remember that I did like it. My next book is 
Before I Tell You by Ashley Elizabeth. I've never seen this before. I've never seen this before. Never heard about it. I knew nothing about it. Mm -hmm. But when I read the back, first of all, the back doesn't tell you that much. Right. It's kind of like mysterious. Mysterious and dark. It was in the romance section. Right. It's so giving like, dark romance, even just looking at the cover. I'm kind of down. Yeah. That's all you need to know. I have Roomies by Christina Lauren. And, you know, I don't know why I decided to pick this up because uh, I don't know about the cover. It says that there's a drunken attacker, mm. right? So I was like, oh, oh, sure. has something to do with like Broadway musical, like a musician type stuff. And I'm over here like, I would love that. Yeah, no, it that seems, seems like a fun time. But you'll have to see. Good. I mean, I'm gonna try link your Goodreads down below so you can get mm. new besties. Sure. Follow the Goodreads. I also got Shipwreck, except your cover is definitely wrecked mine looks beat it's wrecked <laughs> no pun intended <laughs> <laughs> we have some duplicates in here so. we do shipwreck josh and hazel's guide to not dating mm. by christina lauren basically there are two people josh and hazel obviously pretty sure they've known each other but she's she's known to be a little weirdo mm. i'm pretty sure and um josh went through this like horrible breakup and now he's like hazel you wouldn't be so bad were they like not fake date but do they like they go like, on dates they like go on dates but they're like not going on dates mismatched by wendy M million yep this i don't really know much about there's these two people and they were about to get engaged and i'm pretty sure the dude broke off the engagement and then they didn't like see each other and then all of a sudden one day he's on her doorstep again uh, and so so i'm gonna tell you like i told you the cover's cute mm -hmm. i'm buying it yeah so there you go the god parent trap by isn't rachel there, van dyke and i swear that's based off the movie isn't there a movie called the god parent trap no the parent trap I don't parent know, trap maybe god that's what it is I read this a little while ago, not a little, well, a little while, it's like a couple months, but I remember that something tragic happens, and then I think it's Earl's best friend and the other guy, what is, it's his sister, and all of a sudden these two people have to be co-parents to these children. It was very heartbreaking, I will say. One of her faves, next. Y'all know me. If you know me, you know. Lotus. Yes. Lotus. Jammer Hartman. Sid Oliver. Oliver was captured 22 years ago as a child and has been held captive in this basement for all those years. And he finally escapes and has to reconnect with the world. So he's living with his stepbrother and then Sid is his childhood best friend who also helps him come back into the world. He's just like the sweetest fucking character ever. Like I literally would die for him. I, lo I love fictional men. Just very beautiful. It's kind of underrated. Like, it's not, but it is underrated. Read it. I can't wait till you read it. Girl, like, I'm gonna be, I have to be like, sitting here when you read that. I'm gonna, like, watch your every reaction. This book. <laughs> <laughs> I Hate You More by Lucy Gilmore. Ooh. Again, cute cover. Really, this girl gave up her pageant life. And there's the veterinarian. She just wants to show the veterinarian that she's more than just some pretty little girl and that she has more depth to her so i love that next book would you rather buy alice and ashley i only picked this up because i have one of her books behind us above kira's head it's the roommate pact i'm pretty sure kira has read this and she said that yes it wasn't bad so i'm gonna give this a try and that what i can remember is i think she has some kind of disease and i think that he is her best friend and she doesn't have like the insurance or something so i think they marry each other oh, so no. that she can yeah so he she can kind of hop on his insurance and get whatever she needs next one beautiful pastor mm -hmm. by christina lauren the next one the bodyguard by Catherine center another cure recommendation mm -hmm. as y'all saw this is like one of my favorite books of all time five stars of course She's the bodyguard, he's the actor, but he's kind of been on sabbatical for something that happens that you will learn about. He has to go back to his family's farm. I don't remember if it's because someone's sick or something, but he ends up going back there and 
He doesn't want his family knowing that he has a bodyguard, so they have to fake date. The next book, The Friend Zone by Abby Jimenez. Again, really good series. Definitely recommend if you have not read these by Abby Jimenez, like you've read the other two books. We got Part of Your World by Abby Jimenez. Yes, this is technically the first book in the companion series from yours truly. It's about Alexis and I can't remember his name, Daniel. Anyway, it's like opposites attract because she's like this big nurse doctor in the city and then he's a small town guy it's age gap but like he's younger yeah i don't know i just heard it was like the mm. sweetest little thing and he's like the sweetest man we have one in rome by sarah adams so the reason why i picked up this book is because I have the second book behind me. Practice makes Practice perfect. Practice makes perfect. And I realized that it was a series I didn't know. She's like a famous actress or something like that. And he is like a baker in Rome, Kentucky. Oh, like this takes place in Rome, Kentucky. Oh, not Rome, like not Rome in Italy. <laughs> He's kind of like quiet and broody. doesn't want this big pop star in his town. And she's like, oh, I'm staying. You got nothing to do about it. Next we have the boy with the bookstore by i'll say sarah smith it's about a girl who is obviously a baker she moves into his bookstore like a little like bookstore cafe type thing oh ooh. that prepare to smile think and all about swoon by tessa bailey tessa bailey liked it it's gonna be good the next book i have is my roommate is a vampire by jenna levine and so what brought my attention to this book is the word vampire I love vampire and human type romances. Just like I love the vampire diaries and my babysitter's a vampire the show. The Lucky List by Rachel Lippincott. The reason why I picked this up at first is because I saw Five Feet Apart. I love the Great. story, Five Feet Apart. Yep. That's all you gotta know. Amazing. How much were they? <laughs> <laughs> what if it's not even a romance? What if it's just like, you know, like fun times between besties? I'm trying to convince you. <laughs> <laughs> There's one of these girls, I don't know who yet, but her mom has cancer. Mom left a lucky list. And it's like a bucket list and then they do the bucket list together. Yeah. Basically, that's the premise. It sounds cute or whatever. Yeah. Dare you to hate me. Bye. Be Celeste. I picked up this book, obviously, because I saw a football man and I'm like, okay romance about Perfect. sports yeah. they've known each other for like a while and one day she has to say goodbye to this man don't ask me why who knows you'll find out so she thinks that it's the last time she's ever seen this man so she climbs out her window she's like oh, bye, bye. all of a sudden four years later they end up at the same university link what are the odds we're gonna see if they can pay the pieces back up or if this will go totally south i know i feel like it's gonna be very not like heavy but it's just, I feel like it's gonna hit home. You yes. know what I mean? One of those type of like emotional, but like fantastic. And in this book, the characters are Aiden and Ivy. Yep. And they do have another one that are two different characters. So if I like this, I'll read that one. These three. All by Tessa Bailey. We got Need Me. We got Chase Me. And we have Make Me. Um, I don't really know much about them. I think this one is Teacher and she's some kind of like small town maybe ranch farm woman i don't know i have no idea but it looks like it would be like office then this one i know he's a construction worker and she she's a virgin okay <laughs> we had heard the same i don't have a company on her shoulders i don't know if she's like a real estate agent or you got it. the long game i've seen it around a lot and it, it always catches my attention and i'm always like "Ooh, that looks cool and i put it back Hmm. This time I finally decided to pick it up. This is the same author as The Spanish Law Deception and The American Roommate Experiment. I didn't really like both of those, but it's not my book to read. So I've heard actually that people like this book like way more. Like it's completely different, but it has something to do with soccer. I don't know why there's a goat on there. We got The Upside of Falling by Alex Light. Another influence by me. I read this. It's short. It's cute. I think they have to fake date. Former best friend teases her not having a boyfriend, so she pretends that she's seeing somebody and it happens to be this guy who's on the football team. She really likes Better Than Movies, so we're trying to find a book that's also like Better Than the Movies. If you know anything. Yeah, I know. Literally, we've 
I'm trying to find books like that out of the movies for her. Why a young adult? People like West Bennett. The Love Wager by Lynn Painter. Only because I love Lynn Painter. Mm -hmm. The only really thing I know about this is I think that they go on dates. Like they go on separate dates, like near each other in the same restaurant. And then after they go and chat and eat food and talk about their dates and how bad they are. For many good things that I love this. Last but not least, what Kara already showed you guys is Forget Me Not by Julie Soto. So there we go. And the man is what interests me. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like just this. this he seems look. like he'd be I'm chatted like... and all that stuff. Yo. I think she bought one from every bookstore that we went to. Yeah, I did. She got a tote from there that says, I'm in bird. So if you get $100 or more in books, which I did, yeah. I got a free one. Yeah, so. and I just paid like $10, which is really good. We are matching cute little matching bracelets. I'm scared you know. My favorite barn of them. Oh! Barnes and Noble's and Peabody. Yeah, y'all, go to that one. Like, that <sighs> one is probably one of the best I've been to. And I've not been to a bunch of barns, but yeah, no. That's a fan favorite from us. Content for the video. Anyway, that is it for this segment. We've talked for about 50 minutes. This is going to be a long video. Hope you guys um, sat back and got a drink. Nice meeting you guys. Yes, this this is the thing I talk about all the time. Y'all should like know her by now. Great. <laughs> well, you can watch and watch. Now. Yeah, no, literally. Uh -huh. She's a Harry Potter enthusiast, so yeah. I will probably outro this video at some point, but thank you for watching our segment. Okay. We'll probably be back for more 24 hour rethon coming soon. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Me, again. I never filmed an outro, so here I am. But I hope you guys enjoyed. It's a lot. I don't know how long this video is gonna be. I'm a feeling it's gonna be pretty long, but yeah, that was definitely a lot. I had so much fun. I think it's always just so much more fun with a friend. There could be more of these in the future. I don't know if we're gonna go this hard again. Definitely like, comment, and subscribe to stick around for more of these or just more videos by me. Make sure to follow all my socials down below along my Goodreads, Amazon wishlist. Everything's down there if you want to check that out. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!